Welcome to our lesson on calculations with numbers in standard form. So we're going to begin by calculating 4 times 10 to the 4 multiplied by 2 times 10 to the 3. To do this, we're going to multiply the 4 by the 2 to make 8. And we're going to use the rules of indices where we have 10 to the 4 multiplied by 10 to the 3. And because we have the same base, we have to add the powers. So we have 8 multiplied by 10 to the power of 4, add 3, which is 8 times 10 to the 7. And for question B, we have 3 times 10 to the 3 multiplied by 2 times 10 to the 5. Again, we'll multiply 3 and the 2 to make 6. And because the bases are the same, we can add the two powers so we have 6 times 10 to the 3 add 5, which is 6 times 10 to the 8. Moving on to question C. So for question C, I'm going to write it as a division. So I got 9 times 10 to the 7 over 3 times 10 to the 4. Because I like to see, I can do the 9 divided by the 3 to make 3. And now I can use the division rule, where I've got 10 to the 7 divided by 10 to the 4, which is times 10 to the power of 7, take away 4. So I've got 3 times 10 to the power of 3. And for question D, 7 times 10 to the 8, divided by 2 times 10 to the 2. Well, the 7 divided by 2 is 3.5. And 10 to the 8 divided by 10 to the 2, is 10 to the power of 8 take away the 2 so 3.5 times 10 to the power of 6 okay let's try some more questions so we're going to work these questions out using a calculator and to work out standard form questions on a calculator we need a button which looks like times 10 to the power of x and the x value is the power we're given in the question it could also be the exp button so we'll work through question a so for question a we have 3.6 times 10 to the 2 multiplied by 6.2 times 10 to the 4 and we can convert this number to standard form using the setup function on our calculator we choose the scientific form and I'm going to make it to the fourth decimal place. So we have 2.232 times 10 to the 7. Do you want to try and work out questions B, C and D on your calculators? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. So for question B, We have 5.806 times 10 to the negative 3. And for question C, we have 6.236 times 10 to the 4. And finally for question D, We have 3.889 times 10 to the 9. Okay, thank you for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.